Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be going over how to find perimeter and area in the coordinate plane. And just a quick reminder that the coordinate plane is just, you know, this xy coordinate grid with these four quadrants. So that's what that is. So just a few quick prerequisite skills that you should know before we get into this. So you should know first of all how to find the area of a rectangle and a triangle. For a rectangle, it's pretty straightforward. It's just, you know, the base times the height. So here this would be 8 times 2, which gives you an area of 16 units squared. And if you look down here in the triangle, that's going to be 3 times 4. But then you divide it by 2 because a triangle is half of a rectangle. And so uh, if you do the calculation there, you get 3 times 4 divided by 2, which is 12 divided by 2, which is 6 units squared. So that's what you need to know for area. For perimeter, you should know how to find the distance between two points on the coordinate grid. So here I have these two points, I've plotted them, I uh, made a line between them, and to find that distance, um, you can use the distance formula, but for these problems, it's probably a little easier if you use Pythagorean theorem. So you can just draw a triangle, a right triangle, like this, with this distance being the hypotenuse, and then it would be 4 squared plus 6 squared equals the distance squared, so then you can you know, plug it into your formula to get your answer. So here, this distance would be 7.2 units. So make sure you know how to do these two things um, before we get into the rest of the lesson here. Okay, so here what we're going to do is calculate the perimeter around these points. So here we have five points, A, B, C, D, and E. I've already plotted them here, and I made a sort of pentagon that goes around these points. So we're going to find the perimeter. And remember, the perimeter is just the distance that goes around um, all these points right here. So you notice that some of them are slanted, like here, this one's slanted, this one's slanted, this one's slanted, but ED is, you know, completely vertical, and DC is horizontal. So we can actually figure out what those are right off the bat. So let's start with the distance DC. I'll write it like this with a line above it because it's a segment. So the distance DC is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and the distance ED um, is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so now let's find the slanted distances. And um, so in order to do that, we have to kind of surround this pentagon with triangles like this, okay? And then the reason for doing that is because we can use Pythagorean theorem to solve for the hypotenuse. So let's count to find this distance. That's 1, 2, 3, distance of 3. Let's count to find this distance, that's 1, 2, 3 as well. So the distance EA um, is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared, okay? That's just using Pythagorean theorem. So this is equal to uh, 3 squared gives you 9, and so that's equal to the square root of 18, which we'll figure out what that decimal is in a moment, but that's how to figure out those slanted distances. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, AB. So that's this distance right here. So we need to create a right triangle with that as the hypotenuse. So I'll make my right triangle like this, okay? And here, if we can count the sides of the legs, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 4. This distance is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's also 4. So AB in this case is going to be the square root of 4 squared plus 4 squared, okay? So 4 squared gives you 16, and so this is going to end up being the square root of 16 plus 16, which is 32. So once again, we'll find out what that per, what that actually d decimal is later, but let's just do the last one real quick, which is uh, BC. So we're going to surround this with another right triangle right here, and the distance BC is going to be, uh, let, let's see what the legs are. So this distance is 1, this distance right here is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 4 squared. And that gives us uh, 1 squared is 1, 4 squared is 16. So BC is going to be the square root of 1 plus 16, which is 17. So now we have the five distances. So now we can take our calculator and uh, just go ahead and add them. So it's 6 plus 5, these two distances, DC plus ED. Um, the vertical and horizontal ones, and then we have the square root ones, so we do plus square root of 18 plus the square root of 32 and plus the square root of 17. 
those are the five distances, we add them up and we get that it's about 25. So the perimeter is about 25. It's really close to 25, um, so that's why I have the approximate squiggly lines here. But um, that's what the perimeter is of this pentagon, of this five-sided shape, 25, about. Okay, so let's wrap up here and talk about the area. So in order to calculate the area around the points, what you have to do is surround the shape with a rectangle and um, figure out the area of that rectangle and then subtract the triangles. So let me show you what I mean. Just like we did in the previous example, we're going to surround this with uh, you know right triangles like this. And notice that here you have this tr uh, big rectangle that um, goes around the pentagon. So um, let's figure out all these distances here. So remember, from here to here, this was four. And from here to here, this is uh, also four. This would be one. Um, DC, the distance, we found out that was one, two, three, four, five, six. This distance right here would be one, two, three, four, five. This distance is three. This distance is three. And that distance is four. Okay, so now, as I mentioned, what we're going to do is find the area of this big rectangle. Uh, it's going to be too much, but then we just subtract these three triangles and we're good to go. So the, um, the base here is 6 plus 1, or 3 plus 4, that if you add those up, uh, that's going to be 7. And if you add these up, 3 plus 5, or 4 plus 4, you get 8. So the area of, a, of this whole thing is going to be the area of the rectangle, 8 times 7, minus all of the triangles, all of these triangles right here, okay? So it's going to be 8 times 7 minus 3 times 3 divided by 2. That's this triangle, 3 times 3 divided by 2. And then we should subtract this triangle as well. That's going to be minus 4 times 4 divided by 2. And then we subtract this triangle right here. That's going to be 4 times 1 divided by 2. Remember, to find the area of a triangle, it's just base times height divided by 2. So let's figure out what uh, all these numbers are. We have um, 8 times 7, okay? And um, 8 times 7 is going to give us 56. And then we do minus 3 times 3 over 2. So um, here, I'll just put this in my calculator, actually. So 3 times 3 gives us 9 divided by 2. And that gives us 4.5, so minus 4.5. Um, and then 4 times 4 divided by 2. Uh, 4 times 4 is uh, 16. If you divide that by 2, then you get uh, 8. So we do minus 8. And then lastly, we have 4 times 1, which is 4. Divide that by 2 to get 2. All right. So to wrap up here, we have 8 times 7. 8 times 7 gives us 56. Minus 4.5. Minus 8. Minus 10 excuse me, minus 2, and that gives us an area of 41.5. So that's this area right here. The area is going to be equal to 41.5 41.5 uh, units squared. Okay, so that's one way to find the area. Uh, you could also split this up into other triangles and rectangles inside, um, but I just find that it's easier to just, you know, surround this with a big rectangle and subtract the triangles around the shape. So there you have it, everyone. That's perimeter and area in the coordinate plane.